uh, I stumbled onto this. I thought I had a video on uh, repairing a JPEG with restart markers, but apparently I, uh, I never made it. So maybe I'll, I should do this now. Uh, this can go. Yeah. I got a couple. Uh, am I recording? And I'm uncertain. Test sound. Yeah. Uh, I've got one here, for example. You can see it has the same issue as the one in the Reddit uh, gray uh, area. And this one has that same thing going on. I can show you how you can uh, get rid of this gray area. You fire up JPEG repair and then uh, you go to that file. Why is my mouse? Here it is. And I click OK and I click repair. And you see that the uh, it was cut off at this point, but you can see how the rest of the data is has become visible again. Of course, the data has to be there, but uh, you'll find out by simply trying. This takes a little while. It will tell you something about restart markers. Sometimes files are damaged beyond that. Here is one from the same series and um, it does not uh, show us any um, image at all. We can try repair with using the header of a good file. So, and, and the header of this file is intact, although the image data is not, the header is intact. So, uh, that's uh, 18. I'll select 18. I'll tell it to append a header from a intact file by clicking this checkbox. It will then ask me for this reference file. I can just give it the uh, corrupt one. I tell it to OK. And then I can repair the other file as well. Then we have the um, remaining problem, these, these horizontal lines. Basically, these, these are, uh, this is corrupt data. And uh, for some reason, it became corrupted. And uh, we cannot do, if, if, if for whatever reason, data corrupts. So it's basically a large array of bits and some of the bits flip from zero to one and one to zero. And then you get this, type of damage in, in a JPEG file with restart markers. We we cannot determine which zero flipped and whatnot. So um, the best we can do then is to uh, take this image data, uh, copy it to the clipboard, then paste this into an image and then we, we create a new image. And then using uh, photo editing tools, for example, for example, paint.net, but if you have Photoshop, you will be using that probably. And then do stuff like this. Uh, use stuff like content aware fill. 
it's a large file, so uh, we will need to think about it. And maybe you can hear my PC uh, starting to cool the. Uh, yeah, so here now we see the content aware fill. Got a reasonable outcome here. We can try the same here. And uh, content aware content aware fill will never be, or will sometimes not be perfect at all. And then we may need to, uh, let's see how it does here. But anyway, it's a lot of work to uh, fix, the, fix these images. I am, I'm not aware of any, but maybe that's just me and somebody can tell me otherwise, but I'm not aware of any AI type tools that would detect these horizontal lines automatically and uh, yeah, a reasonable result, but not perfect. So then if we look here, we can clearly see the work of the content aware fill and then we We want to sort of improve on it by, for example, taking some of the lip pink like so, and like so. to improve up on the uh, results. You see? Anyway, that's uh, how you could uh, repair photos like, uh, like the ones you have there. Okay, uh, I'm not recording very much recently, so I am kind of rusty. Uh, and this is, I was looking how to end the recording and I think it's like this.